Hey guys, this is Travis with Korean Adoptive Stories. Kyle's man in the camera, but today is going to be a very special day because we're actually going to present the big check from TT's fundraiser. We, we raised $3,113. Once again, $3,113. And I'm very excited because I don't even think she knows, so this is going to be a big surprise. Kyle wants me to actually just write the check out so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna head to the house and just go in there and see what what's gonna happen so i'm gonna have my brother write it and we'll get their expression on their face it seems really fun and cool so the date is july 18. and i'm gonna pay to the order of tt's fundraiser so we started this on facebook in june and we asked a whole bunch of people so this thing started off as a balloonogram. The mom reached out to me. Her name is Morgan Lindquist Platters. The dad is uh, Lonnie. And they actually have uh, six children, I believe, between all of them. Uh, Morgan asked us to make a balloonogram. So we managed to get a bunch of CADs, maybe like, how much did we get? Maybe like 14 signatures of people saying nice things to TT. Again, she struggles with a lifelong illness. She has, uh, an autoimmune disease we'll actually talk more to about them uh, later but we're gonna head up there pretty quick and my brother's just nicely right in and out and we're gonna surprise them and get their reacts is there anything that you want to talk about about this fundraiser Travis I'm very excited because we actually we're gonna do this a while ago I wasn't actually sure if she was ready but she is out of the hospital so she's been doing better thank you everyone for your support your prayers and your donations because She's been battling this illness. She has her dad's kidney, and unfortunately it's been failing. So they've been trying to figure out how to find a new kidney, and they want to hopefully use this money for good use, and hopefully it can make TT. She's been struggling with this since she was a child, and hopefully this will give them a really nice family, a little bit of relief. And this is all the support, thanks to all, everyone that participated and donated. This is just awesome. It's probably the best thing that anyone could do for a person. And Anyways, I really just it. hope she's excited. There's really not much to it. We're hoping that she does present somewhat with energy. I'm not sure if she's going to remain surprised or not. I don't know what her parents had told her, but I'm hoping that she will be surprised and she's going to be really overjoyed when she does get presented this check. All right. I think that's it. So uh, we're going to start uh, driving up there. Thanks, guys. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Bye. Hey guys, this is Travis. I'm here with Kyle. He's recording right now, but here's the check. We're gonna show this to Titi. We're at her house right now. Hopefully she's up and awake and we'll see what happens when we present her the money. So stay tuned. Anyways, Kyle's just gonna follow me in, so let's go. Good, how are you? I guess everyone came early, huh? Well, we just wanted to have a little... No, actually, Devin oh. and... Um, Kyle's just had... Oh. Was it your one's birthday, or was it someone else's? No. Oh. <laughs> Is TT here? We have a surprise for you, TT. I don't know if your parents already told you about this. Well, I was sending a message. <laughs> oh. So, well, we wanted Kyle to raise money for you, yes. and we your mom's both, idea. We, we raised the money for you when you were in the hospital. And so if you look at this, it's not the actual check, but we have a yeah. check here. But we raised over three thousand dollars for you. So thank you. And there's a whole bunch of people donated. So you, hey, TT, we just want to ask. If, if you have anything to say for the viewers at home that donated for you. Thanks for donating. It'll really help with my medical bills. <laughs> okay, we're with TT and her mom, Morgan. We just want to ask some general questions regarding the illness. First of all, it seems to be a pretty serious illness since it's life-threatening. I believe at 12, she had a kidney transplant and it looks like it's not doing too well right now after like 10 or 11 years. Can you describe more in your own words, Morgan, about the diagnosis and what's going on with her right now so you can update the 
people in general who have donated. So in November of 2020, TT um, ended up going to the hospital and we discovered she was in kidney failure. So she started dialysis immediately and has been fighting different issues regarding kidney failure. Things were going pretty smoothly up until March. Then when March hit, she had been in and out of the hospital over 12 times with different emergency situations. Her blood pressure having problems, she had problems with her eyesight, she couldn't see very well, blurriness, she hasn't been able to drive, work, um, and do other normal activities. Even now with her being at home doing home dialysis, she has only so much energy for her day, so she really works on trying to balance her energy and what types of activities she can do in order to have energy to do the different activities. I'm pretty sure it's been difficult, and you've went through a lot of work trying to make her healthy. How has it been on you and the family? And TT can answer too if she has, if she has anything to say. It is something that our entire family works together as a team. There's six kids and TT's number five out of six. And we all contribute in different ways. Some touch her too much, which drives her nuts, but she knows she's loved. <laughs> Some help out with helping her figure out her medical bills. Others help with encouraging her. I do a lot of like the actual medical stuff. So I go to the appointments with her and help her define what's happening. I'm trying to teach her how to be proactive with her own medical stuff, so it's a combination of her and I together. And then regarding food, TT likes kid food. So I try to help find food that she can eat that is low sodium and safe for her. So what happens if her diet's not specific? What happens if she eats something that she shouldn't eat? She's not eat? supposed to, yeah. So it throws off her kidney levels and can do stuff like put her in the hospital. TT will swell up, so for many different occasions, TT would wake up and her entire face would be about a half inch to an inch out, just swollen up. And other times, the back of her head would have a lump that was about a half inch. And we go to the ER and, and they're like, there's nothing wrong with you. I mean, you, you're just swollen. And, and so then we go back home wondering, there is something wrong what's going on and people not being able to tell us. Have you been pretty content with the doctors that you've been going to or do you think there could be more done or you're just kind of unsure? I think the doctors are fine. Okay. I think they, you know, we work with some of the best doctors in the world. TT is just, she's just a complicated case. Mm -hmm. All the doctors that come in, all the specialists that come in, they're like, you have a complicated case. So even to them, it's a complicated case, and for us, it's obviously very complicated. Yep. <laughs> so I think we're working with really good doctors. I don't think there would be anything to complain about. Are there things that could be changed? Yes, but they're so minor oh. that mm -hmm. it's not worth changing doctors or anything. So, so TT, can you describe in a few words how you've been feeling? Have you been hopeful or sad or... or is there anything else that you'd like to add in terms of what you're feeling regarding how your family has been treating you and the doctors and your overall experience the last month or two? Um, well, it does get hard sometimes, but my, my family is really helpful, so, yeah. I think another important <laughs> guy I want to talk to is, is Lonnie, because he seems like a really strong uh, dad and he knows and he's the one who actually donated the kidney i was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that yeah I donated the kidney and uh so now she's getting ready to have to get another kidney donation <clears throat> they told me it would be rougher on me than her and uh it was uh they they asked how long i'd be taking off work and i said well how long do i have to take off and they said well they'll release you from the hospital in about three or four days and then you can do whatever you want so I said, well, maybe a week, and my wife said, no, you will take six weeks off like they tell you you should. So I took the six weeks off and ended up sleeping for six weeks. And uh, so yeah, it did take a lot out of me. TT, uh, when I left, I stopped by to say hi to her and, and uh, try to get her to walk because they couldn't get her to walk and they needed her to, uh, needless to say, she could walk no problem. I, I was struggling to walk at that time. 
So. I was actually really surprised where you said you actually, you felt quite a bit of effects when you actually got your kidney removed. Is that pretty much all gone or do you still have issues no, with that? No, that's or? pretty much gone. They oh, say it, you, you recover your full energy in a year or two and it probably took me closer to three years, but I tend to push things a little harder than most folks. But uh, it definitely drained my energy for a bit. But at this point, no, it doesn't matter. I know we delved in the diagnosis. Could you actually explain a little bit more deeper? I know it was like some form of a vasculitis. Is that correct? And this vasculitis PM MPA. There you go. So uh, vasculitis probably 20 years ago was just vasculitis. And what is that? Uh, it's I believe a autoimmune disease that okay. attacks your your. Uh, blood vessels, okay. but at this point they've got about 15 or more diseases that are separated into that category uh, Wagner's is a form of vasculitis and at one point uh, in that week of diagnosis and in initial diagnosis They were thinking either Wagner's or something else or something else. So so it is uh, Becoming more and more common, but her particular disease is actually like one in five million kids that gets it and it's mainly white girls <clears throat> so it seems it's more from my side than Morgan's side <laughs> but anyways with having the kidney donates uh, having a different kidney in her then they have to give her medicine to keep her immune system down so since this is autoimmune disease when they keep the immune system limited as much as they can it keeps her disease limited which is a good side effect uh, especially considering most of the meds that she takes have very bad side effects so so at least, at least that's kind of a good thing so yeah so I'm just curious I think Morgan said there's a three percent chance you'd find the right kidney is that still true or what's the actual reason why that it's so difficult to get a kidney? well besides having me a proper blood mass they also they check a lot of details of the kidney and those I don't know but uh, like for instance, our other five kids are not able to donate because her body knows what my kidney was and knows how to reject that. And so therefore, if one of my kids were to donate to her, they, her immune system would already know what that kidney is and they'd recognize it and already have defenses against it so it wouldn't last long. So for that reason, they need something that does not have the same makeup as mine. So Morgan is still a good possibility for that. So. Is she in an organization that is in a, like, I don't know what they call it, like in stands when it comes to finding a kidney or some organization? Or the hospital itself list? takes care of that. And, uh, and so right now they're looking at Morgan as a donor, but they won't uh, do any more testing until probably later this winter. They, it is actually quite a big investment. Uh, and when I went through it, they said it's a million dollar investment, mainly tax money, I believe, uh, and possibly foundation uh, funding from, uh, from other groups. But so there, the doctors see it as their responsibility, uh, the program sees their responsibility to one, make sure that the kidney or any organ is uh, handled well and put into a recipient that can handle it and is going to take care of it. Uh, because it is a large investment. Is there anything that you want to address? I think that's it. Okay. All right, thank you. Thanks, thanks you guys.